Being a mother's hard. Your kids just don't want to listen to you. Ever. <laughs> this is a struggle. Trying to film with your eight week old baby puppy isn't easy. It's not for the week. Rest in peace to my flip flop. It's a goner. My life be like, ooh, uh, yeah, ooh, my life be like. Let's say hi to everybody. Woo! Thank you for the love. Should I turn the camera down a bit? Yes. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> what is actually going on? Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. You're first sit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Special welcome to you if you are new here, if you've clicked on it just because of the title, that's great. Yes, welcome, let's hear all about what my first 48 hours with my baby shoots have been like. So I decided I wanna split this video up into two parts because one will be Don't Dive. <laughs> one second. The focus of the first part of the video will be the actual 48 hours, the, what I vlogged, how it all went down, and then the second part will be all the information that I think is... No. No. Ah, 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 ah. Let go, let go. Be a good boy. Good boy, Mimi. Good boy. Cool, cool. Good boy. Calm? Are you calm? Are you calm? The answer is no, mummy. I just want to play, 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 play. This is the reality. You put in your heart. You put in blood, sweat and tears. To, and now you're peeing. Peeing. Just wherever you want. When the pee pad is literally... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Taking him downstairs. We're gonna have to because soon next there'll be a pop. A poop. A pop. A pop. Come in. Amy. <sighs> well, you guys will meet him someday. No, calm down. Oh. I'm editing right now and I feel so <laughs> I feel so bad because you barely get to see him. So I thought let me just go grab him quickly so he can make his debut. Wearing his pretty little thing jumper that his godmother gave him. Look, it's coming out of your arm. Let me fix it. I'm gonna put his arm in it. I know, it's not fun. Be look cute. Don't you wanna look cute? Do you wanna be cute? Do you wanna look cute? And you wanna be cute? Obviously love my dog. And he's just crazy, he's insane. But he's my little baby, my little baby. Playing with mama and biting her finger and hurting her. But yeah, this is my baby right here. This one, this this crazy one. Look, 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 I'm crazy. But we love you, don't we? Mwah. I say mwah. <laughs> now I don't know if I've already said this in the previous clips of Absolute Chaos but this is a two part video. This part of the video is just some vlog clips, I explain kind of how I decided to set his routine, the food that he eats, I think I didn't go into very much detail because I'll be doing that in part two. Part two, part two will be a sit down where I talk all about the things I bought him, the toys, the food, how much he actually costs, vet costs, insurance, all of that good stuff I will talk about in part two. I need to run you guys, I'm so sorry I can't even really introduce this video in the way I want to but I need to go feed him, I need to go make sure he takes his meds. He's a crazy dog and I just need to be watching him like all the time. So yeah, sit back and enjoy this video and I'll see you in part two.
Alright, so this was the morning of pickup. My mum's recording. Me and my dad were heading off to Sheffield. So I'm just loading up the car here with his carrier, a gift for my breeder and her family, and a water bottle because it was going to be a three hour journey coming back. And obviously, the puppy would need some water. I was quite stressed out that morning. I don't know why. I think just I, I was probably just overwhelmed and hungry. It was very early as well. I'm not a morning person. So yeah, it was a lot. Hello baby! No, don't jump. Look at your nose, it's all runny. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. You scared? I know. Big world out here now. He is so perfect. Mm. Okay. Look at your nose all runny, baby. Mm -hmm. Just want to say a big shout out to Danny and Paul, who were the breeders, and Lindsay, who helped me find Danny and Paul. Just amazing, top, top quality service, everything. He's even got a folder with all his stuff. He has a birth certificate, he has all the necessary documents from the vet just to give me peace of mind to know that he's healthy, he's happy and they did all the necessary work for like making sure of that. Honestly, I had such an easy ride, like getting him, picking him up was easy. As soon as we put him in the car, he was excited, he was even barking, cheering everything, trying to get out the bag, trying to like play with me and my dad and then we just thought, no, let's just leave him in there because I guess too much exposure at the same time overstimulates them and it's not good. So put in the bag and he slept. She licking, can you see? It's not yummy. Or do you taste something on there? He's looking at me like, girl, I want to eat. I know you're hungry. I know. So I kind of missed out some stuff at this point. We had already been home for a couple of hours. I'm really sorry I didn't film. I was just obviously busy, like, you know getting my puppy settled but yeah we put him down as soon as we got back um, in the room where I wanted him to be sleeping and where he would be going potty and he went straight on the pee pad he's just such a clever clever dog and he knew exactly what to do and then he ate and he slept for the most part so now this is the evening and I wanted him to get into a routine from day one and that means brushing teeth brushing his fur and just getting him in a good routine in terms of sleep his sleep schedule so this is me and my mum attempting to brush his teeth and yeah the toothpaste is liver flavor so they're supposed to enjoy it but clearly someone was enjoying it a bit too much and didn't really let me do very much because he was too busy chewing the bristles but we did actually get there in the end and then I realized what am I brushing he's got like one tooth and for real guys he only had one tooth at this point I don't know if I showed it in this clip but I think I'll show you at some point in the video so once the brushing was done, I moved on to the brushing of the teeth, I moved on to the brushing of the fur. So this is just some detangling conditioner for the fur. It has no scent, it has no parabens, it has nothing harmful for your dog. It's really, it's for dogs, so it's good for them. And because Shih Tzus tend to grow really long, silky fur, it's important that you get them in a good habit from day one, that they get comfortable with being brushed every single day because you're going to have to otherwise you risk their fur getting all matted and um, tangled and just uncomfortable for your puppy so that's what we're doing right here So this is just us winding down and having some playtime, I guess, before bed. Expect a lot of chewing and snipping and biting because they are teething, so they need to release that kind of stress and, I don't know, whatever they're feeling um, somewhere. And usually that will be your clothes, that will be your fingers, so invest in many chewy toys because otherwise you will be becoming their personal chewy toy, like I did. <laughs> 
So after playing, I finally put him to bed. So my thing was, he was already potty trained, so I didn't feel the need to lock him up in a crate all night and then come down every two hours. Because the whole point is you put your puppy in there so that every two hours you let them out to use the toilet. But if they're already pee trained, pee pad trained, then you don't need to lock them up. So I just gently locked it so that I could film this clip and then I proceed to unlock it. And as I walk out, he knows he just pushes the door and he's let free. There's another bed across the other side of the room in which he sleeps in. So it was an easy night, easy first night, full sleep, didn't have to come down, check on him once. He was absolutely fine. Say hi everybody. I'm about to have my lunch now. I'm about to have my lunch now. Mm, not mama. I'm not your lunch, am I? But yeah, I'm gonna feed him now. I'm gonna show you guys what he eats because I'm not gonna talk about that tomorrow, I don't think so. I have decided to switch him over to a raw diet, which I'll explain more about in um, the sit down video, like why I did, the benefits of it, where I've got my raw food from. So he is seven weeks old, he's just a little baby, so he can't be on like the bony stuff just yet. So, the place that I bought this from, they do a puppy mix, puppy formula, nutriment, raw. It's got macronutrients, natural enzymes, all of that good stuff, carrots, da 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 da. And then it's also got some meats that are essential for him, so liver, tripe, chicken hearts I think, uh, what else is in it? Okay, I honestly don't remember, but he loves it, you'll see, you'll see. That's how much I give him. He'll lick that clean and that's gonna last him till dinner. Dinner's usually at five. It's 12 o'clock right now. Come! Come, come, come! It's lunch time! Drink, drink, drink! And voila! Everything else is there for you. Because he's eating them all. And then, come, look, chicken hearts here. Yeah. Good boy. Yummy. Oh, he's <laughs> taking it. He's taking it to a corner. Take some serious. Damn, can't a brother eat in peace? Why are you eating it in secret? Because I can. Literally in a corner. Why are you following me around with a camera like a weirdo? Uh, maybe that's how he's like, he's uncomfortable with us watching. Oh clever, so the best thing to is just move the bag and continue to do the exact thing that's making me uncomfortable. Do you know what? I don't even want this anymore in done. My life be like, ooh, uh, yeah, ooh, my life be like, ooh. MJ is a good boy. Let's get those hairs out of your eyes. Does he know <laughs> you're on the camera? Let's get those hairs out of your eyes. friends now. <gasps> ah, yeah. I mean, we're always gonna be friends. You don't really have a choice. <gasps> yeah. Now you're clean. Yay. Chewy chewy. Drinking sound. Sleep <laughs> <laughs> quietly. Once more.
Good morning, everyone. It is 5 a.m. It's just gone six, actually, so we've been up for an hour now. Okay. Oh, he's really like coming into himself now. He's barking. Now, come up. Say good morning to everyone. Say good morning. I wanna play. Yeah, like he's barking, he's biting, um, like not biting, but like always nipping because he wants to play because he's teething. And yeah, I really hope you can hear me because I know the heater's on, but it's freezing. Seriously, no, no. no you give him something to chew on. That is not my slipper. So when he's being like this, I will get his Kong and some doggy peanut butter. Stop. They were gonna work on down commands and stuff, like we haven't actually practiced anything. So after his dentist vet appointment, we're gonna work on some stuff. Otherwise, he's been such a good dog, like I have zero complaints. He's made the transition um, for both of us really easy and I'm just very grateful for that here lick licky licky so I just put it on top like that and then I'll show you guys how I do it good boy yummy yeah so that should keep him distracted for the most part <laughs> his body is so funny yum Casually rolling around in your pee pee. That's why we have this stuff right here. Let me actually spray it because he actually smells like pee. He hates this. Watch this. <laughs> Sorry. He's going to hide behind the camera. Come here. Come here. Good boy. You've got such a runny nose, let's clean you up. So I got him this interactive toy which we're going to test out now. It's supposed to increase their IQ, so let's see. So I just realized I didn't actually explain what this dog puzzle is all about or how you do it. So you just hide the treats underneath these buttons here and the dog is supposed to sniff the treats out and find them that way. It's good for exercise, it helps them also control how fast they chew and eat. So MJ is someone that swallows his food the minute he gets it so I want him to control his chewing so he doesn't suffer indigestion. And it's also a way for them to burn calories whilst eating them because they're running around trying to find these snacks and it's just fun good boy good boy okay try and find Daddy. so i'm just about to put him down on the grass so he can pee and trying to train him to potty outside. He can only really be down on the grass for like five minutes because he hasn't got his vaccinations yet. So yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. Hmm? He's so sleepy. Okay, let's try and pee and I'll put you back inside. Let's go. Good boy, well done. He's done it.
My life be like ooh ah, yeah. Ooh. Hi guys. <laughs> um. So I've had MJ for about a week and a half now. Do you want me to put you down? Okay, I'm gonna just bring down a minute. Oh, you don't want to go down. <laughs> Bless you. I don't know if you can see the both of us. <laughs> I've had him for about a week and a half now and yesterday, okay, I'm just gonna put him down so I can explain. Oh. Now you wanna come back. <laughs> yesterday, um, we were leaving, coming out of the conservatory room and he was right behind me, like he always is. So I walk out and then he's right behind and he hits his face in the door. Now I didn't see because I was standing in front of him obviously. So I don't know which part, but I'm very sure it was the corner of the door because that's kind of where he was coming out of. It hit him, it must have hit him right in the eye because he screamed so loud and I just turned around. But he screamed but he was still trying to get through the door. Oh, peeing on my carpet, please, Emmy. <laughs> you're lucky you're injured because I don't know why you're doing that. It's my fault to be fair, I didn't bring a puppy pad. Um, it hit him right in the eye and he screamed and I turned around and I couldn't tell what had just happened but I definitely knew he'd injured himself. So I pick him up and his eyes like that, like he's like still seeing but he's like not sure what's just happened, like the shock. Um, so I immediately run to my mum like showing her and she was working so she was just like just wait or like call the vet or something. So I called the vet and I explained what's just happened and because it's still fresh I'm explaining it and I don't know if the vet thought I was exaggerating or I don't know. She was just like... Um, or the receptionist was like, let me put the vet on the line and blah, blah, blah. So she goes off and then she comes back and she's like, the vet said, just wait it out, see how he fares. Um, as long as there's no swelling or blood, like he'll be okay. So I was just like, right, okay. But he's seven weeks old, now eight weeks. He hasn't had his shots yet. He's susceptible to infection. Like, I don't want to risk anything, so can I bring him in? And they're like, oh, we don't have any emergency appointments, but if you want to go to our sister vet, uh. I'm like, okay, cool. This is like, Emmy, come here. MJ, come here. Now. Here. Good boy. But um, he was still acting like himself. He was still fine. I could tell that I was. What's in your mouth? Ah! Come here. What's in your mouth? Well, having a dog is a, like having a newborn baby. You see them chewing something. There's no food around, so what's in your mouth? You have to run there. You have to open the mouth and make sure you get everything out. This is what I mean. Like, he's injured, but he's still doing the same silly little things that he would do, which makes me feel good. Like, he's going to be okay. Um, so, yeah, he's still got... Well, I don't even know where I stopped. So, it's only 8 o'clock right now. The vet opens at 9. I'm going to call them, and I'm going to exaggerate his condition, and I'm going to stand outside the vet. They're going to have to see him, whether they like it or not, because you just have to. And... Um, then I'll keep you guys updated. Let me show you what he looks like now so you can get an idea of what's going on. Ow! You don't bite mommy like that, do you? Yeah, you can see that. Compared to this side, which is very okay. Look at where he's wedged himself because he must, he must be in very close proximity to me. <laughs> too worried anymore. He's still really active. He... He'll be fine, he's gonna get the, the help that he needs, and yeah, being a new mom is not easy. <laughs> so this is the situation, it's lunchtime now. I don't know how I'm gonna position this. Should I put it here? So this is his food. I'm having to hand feed him because obviously he's got the cone on and he can't take it off for today. 
because we really need the meds to work so okay back it up let's show everyone how we're feeding you come here oh It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> it is. I like what I left off with and I don't know if this is part of the vlog or my day in the life of a puppy video because I'm filming both at the same time I'm so confused <laughs> anyways um, we went to take we took him to the vet for his review after the last appointment where we got the medication and the eye drops vet said it's all looking really good his eyes healing really well and there's still a bit of a scratch and it was quite a deep scratch that he got himself there so we have to wait a um, couple of more days to see it fully heal and then I'm gonna go back for a final um, check up next week but he's all good you probably want to see him and not me but picking him up right now he's quiet because he's obviously in a bag and then in the car he's a bit agitated so it's best to just leave him but I'll show you guys he looks fine he's just eating Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much to update you guys on. I oh, you want to come up? I will check in back with you guys later. If there's any change, if yeah, I don't know. I've never done it, one of these videos before, so I don't know what comes next. I also need to figure out whether this is gonna go in the weekly vlog or the main video that I'm making. I'm not decided yet. We'll see. Hey guys, so if you need the toilet, you know where to go. Go. Smooth sailing journey since he got here minus the little injury. Otherwise, in terms of training, in terms of potty, he's made my life so easy. Like, and I just feel really blessed because I think it's not with all puppies that you get this. So don't take my experience as what yours would be. But what I would say is developing a really healthy routine from the get is going to be your ticket, your golden ticket to having a really, really enjoyable journey with your puppy because it's all up to you, it's down to you, you need to fit them into your schedule otherwise they'll be fitting you into theirs and you don't want that, you don't want to have a puppy that controls you, that controls your movements, controls your outfits, by that I mean an unruly puppy um, because that's your fault, it's no one else's fault but the owner so do right by your puppy and your puppy will do right by you um i'm gonna go to bed now because i'm very tired it's been a long day so i want to say bye mj say bye bye guys thanks so much for watching see you in part two i feel so bad because yesterday he was just oh thank you he was just a bit hyper, isn't that right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's still a really cute dog. Don't bite mama.
Now I thought you were a licky dog, you were a bitey dog. Ah.